Welcome back to the broadcast. Well, listen, voted best pie in Texas by the Texas Country Reporter. The pie peddlers have been baking up delicious treats in downtown Glen Rose now for over 10 years. My new friends, Jean Ford and Rhonda Cagle, they, they were teachers and they're like, you know what, enough is enough. We're gonna make pies for a living and they're obviously doing something right, ladies. Y'all know I love me some pie and y'all know I like to eat. So tell me a little bit about pie peddlers and why you guys decided to make that switch. Well, we were teachers and we knew someday we'd need to retire and we wanted to retire before everybody said, when are they gonna retire? <laughs> so we decided let's try to do something and pies came to mind and mm. we started with pies. And when we first started, we were inside Rhonda's uh, cousin's store. I love it. And we had eight pies. <sighs> so eight. how many now? Well, we have, we have 13 or 14 on the menu. And I get to taste like a couple of them today, so yes. I'm all excited. But you're going to show me a little bit about how to make one, right? A pie crust. So if you were making the apple pie, this is what you would do mm -hmm. over yes. here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what, what do I Okay, so to you're going to start with uh, your pie dough. Okay. And growing up, my mother never taught me that you could buy a pie crust. Right, pie which you can, but they're never as good as the homemade uh, ones. Of ever. course not. So ever. I've been making pie dough a long time, and... You don't want to touch a lot of it. Right. You want to keep your hands floured. Okay, because then it gets a little sticky, right? That's right. That's right. And then basically oh. you just roll it out. This just reminds me of my granny's home cooking right now. And I think I bet that's what makes you guys this pie so popular. It just reminds people of home mm. and comfort. And you know what would be great on these is a big old scoop of ice, ice cream right on top. Do you serve ice cream? Uh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. We okay. put, in fact, so we put ice cream on. pie peddlers <laughs> We put ice cream on things that you really wouldn't think people would put ice cream For on. For example? But, uh, key lime pie. Oh, yum. So. That's another favorite. So look at that, so pretty, you just rolled it out. Rolling it out and then we're gonna, oh, that looks we're gonna mix already. all of this stuff in the apples. All that goes in there. Yeah. So how much There's brown sugar did you just put in? A half a cup of brown okay. sugar and a half a cup of sugar. So this is fat free? Yes. Good, that's how I like my pies. And then a teaspoon of cinnamon. All right. And then we're gonna mix that all up. And then a fourth of a cup of flour. Oh, perfect. Does that so, just give it a little more like thickness? Give it a little more thickness, oh, and then we mix it all up. And it smells so good. <laughs> and I'm the one sitting here, I'm hungry. I just wanna eat the apples. Wait, well, it's okay to okay. be a tester. Okay, good. Do you guys do that a lot when you're baking? Do you oh, bake you have to. <laughs> you have to, I think that's a rule. Oh, that's good. Quality control. Love, love, love. So you'll just mix that all mix up. Mix that all up and then we'll pour it in the pie shell. Mm. And we'll add a little bit of butter on top. Of course, you gotta have butter. And then once you do that, how long do you put that in the oven for? For about 45 minutes. We use a convection oven. So it takes about 45 minutes and then it comes out golden brown. It's beautiful. Okay, so you told me I'd get to taste some pies, That's right? That's right. Here's, got a knife for you. What do we have over here? Okay, this so one So I can is, make my decision. This is the apple, mm -hmm. and this one is a buttermilk. Oh, butter that's chest, like really, butter really popular in Texas. And then this is our every berry. It has blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and a little rhubarb. Sweet baby And then a little Jesus. pecan. Mm -hmm. And then on Saturdays, we do what we call little mini pies. Oh, cute. So we've got strawberry rhubarb, peach crumble, chocolate meringue, and coconut meringue. I want to try all of them, but I think I'm going to go with the peach crumble because right. I like crumble on my pies. No, I'm not <laughs> sharing. You have to come over here and have some. Okay, let me see. Oh, it's still a little warm. Mm -hmm. You know, when I have good food, it makes me want to dance. <laughs> Do it. Oh, that is delicious. It's so good. So, how busy do you guys get during the weekend on the weekends? Well, we're only open four days a week. See, that's what happens when you kind of semi-retire, right? That's right, mm -hmm. that's right. And so, um, Glen Rose is a tourist town, and so our Saturdays and Sundays are pretty very busy. Pretty busy. Well, that's nice. You got the rest of the week to kind of relax and chill out. Yeah, that's right. And eat pies. <laughs> so good. Okay, you guys, make sure you get more information at piepeddlers.com. I think we'll all be stopping by at some point in time because these are delish. But coming up next, we've got something special for you. Lisa had to make her way down here this morning. Lisa, or Amy and I came last night, and she was in a very special vehicle from our friends at McKinney Buick GMC. We're going to check in with them in our, our new sweet ride when we come back.